Hey guys, I'm Marissa Voss, and I'm. It's not. It might not be Nebraska football, but it's legend for me. We are here with Rick Upchurch, and he went to University of Minnesota. Well, first off, let's talk about it. Minnesota's a long ways away. So, what are you doing here at the 2023 Jet Awards? Well, you know, uh, Johnny Rogers was my hero, childhood hero, and when he uh, gave me the award back in 2017. I promised him that I would come back every year and help him as far as his program is concerned, to help these young men, young ladies and that whole deal. And I said to myself, I'm committed, I'm coming back every year. And so every year I've come back and this is uh, my seventh year. Amazing. So what do you think of the whole JET Award so far? How awesome it is just to see maybe a little bit in the past an under qualified or you know not really have spotlight to get somebody like Darius Davis and all of these other people highlighted. Well the thing about a kick 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 returners aren't appreciated mm -hmm. and remember once we return 190 yards or 100 yards and that whole deal all of the fans are going nuts right the whole teammates are going nuts right now we change the momentum and you know for our what we've done we weren't recognized for it. And so Johnny said, what we're going to do is we're going to recognize the players that made a difference and, when we're not, and they weren't ever recognized. So uh, to get recognized for what you did on special teams, it's a great thing. And that's why I come back, because it's really important for the young people to understand. I made the team with the Denver Broncos because I was on special teams and put in nine years. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So let's talk a little bit before we hit the Denver Broncos stuff. You're a Minnesota Golden Gopher, like I talked about. Talk to me about those days, though, on how treasured there was. Because when I go to Gopher games, I cannot, I just, I'm in heaven. I love everything about that organization. So talk to me a little bit about like, what was it like back in your day? Oh, it was wonderful. I went junior college first, and then I played two years there in Minnesota with Cal Stoll. And when I got there, man, it was so welcoming. I loved the city. The city was clean. The people were just uh, great folks, man, great fans, and I was in the right place. I knew I was in the right place, and the offense uh, that I was in was fit for me. And uh, so for me to come to Minnesota, and I love fishing, and when they told me there was walleye fishing, I said, I'm sold, no <laughs> doubt about it. So that's why I went there, and also I had great coaches, uh, great experience as far as the classroom is concerned as well, but football, we had a great time. So, talking a little bit about Denver Broncos you're wearing it right now, talk to me about that moment in that time when you were in junior college and you didn't think that you'd make it maybe that far and had a dream. How did that feel like to finally know, I made it to the NFL, my childhood self is very proud? Well, you had to pinch yourself. You know, you pinch yourself and say, man, I'm here. I never ever thought that I would be here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bite down on it and I'm not going to let it go. That's, that was my mindset. I said, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to hold on to it. Nobody's going to take my job. I didn't care where they put me. I just wanted to be on the field, and I wanted to be on the team. And I put in the work. I put in hard work. And I honestly can tell you this, nobody outworked me. I got one more small question. You got a big old rock on your hand right mm, now. Yeah. Look at that. Talk to me a little bit about that. What's that, what's that story like? Um, when I went to Indian Hills Community College in Centerville, Iowa, um, we won the very first championship, the only championship there at Indian Hills Community College. And so a bunch of us guys got together and made a bunch of rings for all of us guys. And this is the one that I have, and uh, we're very proud of it. And uh, so the kids there in Centerville, Iowa, can always go back and look and see and say, you know what, we had a championship here, and we brought it to them. Well, thank you so much. A golden gopher again, guys. I am ecstatic to find you here in Nebraska football, yeah. but here's Rick Upchurch, up and we are here at the 2023 Jet Award.